Good Thursday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your NC weather update for this November the 21st, 2018. And 13. Well, today, uh, once again, that mixture of sun and clouds. Some areas saw a little bit more sunshine than the cloud coverage, while others saw more clouds than sun. It kind of depended on where you were. Uh, most areas that were to the uh, east of Highway 17 saw a little bit more clouds and even saw a couple of showers this morning. Uh, a lot of them not necessarily hitting the ground, but a few of them uh, did hit the ground, especially closer to the uh, Pamlico Sound and the uh, the Outer Banks and the Southern Outer Banks today. As far as the next couple of days is concerned, we're we're talking about a brief warm-up for tomorrow, but the main story will be a big cool-down as we head through the weekend. And uh, we're talking about some uh, fairly chilly numbers and a little interesting look as we head towards a uh, middle portion of next week before we head to uh, Thanksgiving. So we'll look at that here in the forecast update. Here's a look at the uh, time lapse from the Beaufort Skycam. And once again, you see the clouds this morning, a couple of light showers here and there, but then the sun started to peek through. You got a little bit of that mixing happening through the afternoon hours. So we saw a mixture of sun and clouds. It was mainly cloudy though, but look what happened through the afternoon hours. The sunshine really started to come through as we head past about a four o'clock this afternoon. It ended up being a nice sunset down there at uh, Beaufort, but most of the day was uh, in the clouds. We're currently at 57 degrees at uh, Moorhead City as of uh, the 7 o'clock hour. 57 at Jacksonville, 58 currently for Kenansville. Double nickels for uh, Rocky Mount as well as Greenville, 56 the current temperature for Hatteras. Uh, and we're looking at the temperature change for the last 24 hours. Actually, we're a little bit warmer than what we had yesterday, and that's as expected, uh, running about five degrees above where we were this time last night. In Greenville, 8 degrees warmer in uh, Greenville as well as Washington, 5 degrees warmer at Moorhead City, and Jacksonville and Kenansville taking the cake at 9 degrees warmer. Actually, today's high temperatures uh, were quite warm. Actually, Jacksonville hit 70 today. I think some more areas will hit the 70-degree uh, mark through the afternoon hours. Here's a look at satellite and radar over the last couple of hours, and uh, we obviously have seen the clouds. They dissipated and uh, kind of in between right now. I think we get a little bit more cloud coverage as we head through the overnight hours. A little uh, system will roll across the region. See back off to the west. Frontal boundary, very slow mover, but uh, that is our next frontal system that's going to move into the region as we head into your day on uh, Saturday. Here's a look at our current temperatures across the region. 56 Charlotte, 61 Columbia, 64 at Wilmington, but look at that big cold air mass coming down the pipe. 61 at, uh, at uh, Los Angeles, some of the mountainous areas, uh, much cooler than that. Uh, had snow up towards uh, Reno, Nevada uh, today. Uh, Denver sitting at 14, 10 at Edmonton, and yesterday at this time, it was not It was a lot colder up there in uh, northern Alberta. Uh, we are a little bit warmer today, actually. 48 at Chicago, 75 the current temperature at Dallas, but look back off to the north and west of there. They're talking about uh, some uh, freezing rain issues. Uh, going into tonight uh, with this system rolling in. 80 degrees, the current temperature at Miami. Here's a look at the uh, short-term precision forecast model. Once again, I think that the clouds start to build in through the evening hours tonight. We'll start off with like partly cloudy skies and then go mostly cloudy. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off with a little bit of fog in some regions. Uh, nothing dense, uh, maybe down to maybe a, a mile or two, but you should be able to get around uh, easily tomorrow morning. And you see a couple of light showers trying to get depicted. Honestly, I think most of that will be uh, just a low-level moisture with the fog, but there could be a couple of light little uh, sprinkles uh, possibly tomorrow. And once again, there will be a chance for a couple of hit or miss showers, uh, but not everybody is going to get wet tomorrow. I think uh, we'll hold off on the rain chances, the major rain chances, until late on Tuesday, uh, late on Friday, and into your day on Saturday. Uh, temperatures upper 60s and low 70s. Uh, if you see enough sunshine, if there's a couple more pockets of sunshine similar to today, you may warm up even warmer. You may be up into the mid-70s in a couple of spots. The atmosphere is conducive for that tomorrow. But uh, I think most of us will be stifled back a little bit uh, tomorrow uh, from where we potentially could be. But I think most of us, upper 60s, low 70s will do it for most of us. And a couple of showers once again. Hit or miss tomorrow uh, if you're going to be heading to the uh, football games across the region. If you're heading to the ECU-NC State game, that is on Saturday. Carter-Finley Carter Stadium, 50s for tailgate. couple of showers 
uh, through the day, and temperatures will likely hold steady somewhere around the uh, mid-50s. Holiday Parade down in Jacksonville. We'll be down there uh, hanging out in, uh, in the parade, a couple rain showers. Uh, temperatures will likely be somewhere around the 60s to start the morning, but then they kind of Stair step the word down by one o'clock. We're down into the mid 50s, so and also the chance for a couple of rain showers. Uh, not everybody, like I said, not everybody's going to get wet, but there will be that chance for a couple of showers. Here's a look at the precision forecast model. Once again, uh, this frontal boundary will be slamming into the region uh, early on Saturday morning. Hits, here's 615 Saturday morning, a couple of showers with this low pressure system working off the coast. And then that clears out of here, but we could see a little resurgence the latter half of the day coming up the coastal areas. So not everybody is going to be wet all day. I think the rain chances turn more coastal through the afternoon hours and morning time hours deeper inland. Second front that you see there, that is the actual push of cooler air, and that's going to be the clearing mechanism. We clear out uh, fairly quickly, and then by Sunday, high pressure builds into the region and uh, quite breezy as well. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast. 71 tomorrow, and I still think that maybe a 10 to 20% chance for a small sprinkle or shower uh, tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds will go likely mostly cloudy for most of the day after some fog in the morning. Saturday, the holiday parade down in Jacksonville. It will be breezy and temperatures will likely hold in the mid-50s or fall through much of the day. Uh, I don't think we're going to be falling so dramatically that we're going to be talking about temperatures in the 40s or 50s, uh, 40s or 30s uh, by the time we head towards the afternoon hours. But I think most of us will likely hold in the mid-50s uh, through much of the day, maybe dropping a couple of degrees, maybe to the low 50s. Sunday, we turn windy. Uh, winds come northwesterly at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and temperatures are going to be quite cold. We're only going to make it to the low 40s. Maybe a couple spots touching the mid 40s, but it will be quite cold. Temperatures Sunday night into Monday morning, likely into the low 20s. Uh, and uh, Monday, uh, likely going to start off with sunshine clouds building in through the afternoon hours. Those will be your high and mid-level clouds, so the sun will filter in through the afternoon hours. We'll only make it to about 45 or 46 that afternoon. Rain showers turn likely as we head through the afternoon hours of Tuesday. Likely going to start off partly cloudy, then the clouds really increase through the morning time hours, then going cloudy. Rain showers likely through the latter half of the day. Windy on Wednesday. We'll only make it to about 54, and temperatures will likely plummet there as well. Um, and the modeling still out to lunch on this uh, Tuesday Wednesday deal. Some of the modeling is considering uh, with this coastal low pressure system, uh, we could be uh, we could be wet for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's what the GFS is depicting. Uh, then we have the solution of the European, which we're kind of hedging to, towards right now. Uh, the European is hedging towards Tuesday, Wednesday being wet and then dry on Thursday. Some of the ensemble members from both of the models uh, are depicting this to be dry and just cold. So we have a very wide range of where this could go next Tuesday, but at this time we're, we're just going to hedge towards rain. Now the GFS is trying to paint a little snow. I'm not buying that at this point. I think the temperatures will be too warm, but uh, the raw numbers off the GFS would support such or maybe some sleet, uh, but that's uh, we're looking at that five, six days out, and to be honest with you, that is a outlier uh, from all the rest of the modeling, and most of the ensemble members are hedging towards more of a rain event, but some of them are hedging towards maybe the potential for maybe some cold air wrapping around the low pressure system. So once again, a very wide range as a very changeable forecast Tuesday, Wednesday. At this point, we're going to hold to a cool, a colder day on Thursday for Turkey Day, and maybe a slim chance for a shower early. We're going to hope that's that's the deal, but it may very well change. I think from day five to day seven, that's a changeable forecast. Uh, with this upcoming system and to be honest Saturday is kind of iffy as well as far as the temperature profiles are concerned I think Sunday and Monday were good though. Uh, I think we're pretty solid as far as that's concerned But uh, like I said Tuesday Wednesday Thursday We're gonna watch that uh, for that potential for uh, how those how the models are going to um, Come together over the next couple of days That'll do it for me here on the ENC Weather Update. Stay to date with us on Facebook as well as Twitter and on WNCT.com. Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be in tonight, 10 o'clock on CW, 11 o'clock right back on WNCT. And Dante Jones in tomorrow morning, 5 to 7 for Morning Edition. Guys, have a great rest of your evening, great day tomorrow, and a great weather week ahead.